Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So today, coming to you from the range. Plan on seeing how these guys shoot. Seven Wisdom, 120 grain Barnes tip TSX with Ramshot Hunter powder. This load's going around 3,500 feet per second. So, gonna test it out, see how it shoots. I've got five three-shot groups loaded up. We're on paper with the first group, so I just want to get some range footage of me shooting, uh, and we'll go from there, see how it does. This is uh, the load that I'm shooting is 71.8 grains. So I loaded up, um, let's see, the first group was 71.5, and then I jumped in three tenths of a grain increment, uh, 71.5, 71.8, 72.1, 72.4, 72 and 72.7. So we'll see how they shoot. I checked some velocity on these loads. Uh, I started at 68 and a half and went up to 73, jumping in half grain increments. I did this, you know, a little while back, one of the previous videos. And so we should be around 3,500 feet per second or slightly above uh, with this particular load in this range that we're shooting. So I just want to see how they group on paper. If they group halfway decent, I mean, it's going to be minute of deer. That's perfect. That's, that's all I want because I don't have a whole lot of these uh, at the house, the 120 grain t TSX. I don't have a lot of those left, maybe like not another 20 possibly. So I just want to find something that, you know, if these all shoot decent enough, right? I mean, if they're, if one group's three inches, the next one's a half inch, the next one's two and a half inches, right? Then we got a problem, but if they can all shoot somewhere inch, inch and a half. Uh, then I'll just pick a load and load up those 20 and save those for hunting season. Just just to see how they do on some on some game animals.
the video so you guys don't have to just sit here and watch me wait for the barrel to cool down. But uh, so today it's about 40 degrees. You can see the wind is blowing a little bit. A beautiful day, so it feels great. All right, so about to shoot another group. I did make a scope adjustment. First two groups, I'm hitting high and slightly to the right. So I did make a scope adjustment down and to the left. So we'll see how it does. Had a few more folks roll in since I've been set up. They're all going down to the uh, kind of like a pistol slash carbine side. It's a it's a lot of steel targets that they have set up over here on one part of the range. And you can go down there and they do competitions and different things like that and training and all that. They they do that over on that side. So seeing quite a few vehicles come through the gate and head that way. Hands are starting to get a little cold. Even though the sun, even though the sun's shining, it's a beautiful day. It's about 40 degrees. two more groups to shoot so y'all stay tuned all right this will be the last group that i actually film i've got two more to shoot but i'll just this will be the last one that i film that way this video won't be too crazy long because we still have to get back and talk about the results so
All right, guys, that's the range footage for right now, so y'all stay tuned. Um, we'll head back to the house, go over these results. All right, so we are <clears throat> concluding the video on the 7mm Winchester short mag. You saw the range footage. Um, the other day when I was talking about the range results, you know, for the, the 7 Wisdom and some 30-06 stuff and 6.5 Creedmoor, different stuff. But these were the groups uh, with the 100 Hornady 162 grain SST. And so just shooting some three shot groups, it was the first, second, third, uh, fourth, fifth. It, they weren't good, right? They weren't necessarily, I believe only the first one was even worth measuring. And so I didn't bother with it. I uh, switched over, immediately switched over to uh, loading up. These guys, the Barnes 120 grain tip TSX with Ramshot Hunter powder. I checked some velocities and pressures uh, a little while back. And I believe I posted that video as well, maybe. I can't remember at this point. But uh, the, velocity, the velocities with this particular bullet powder combination are pretty good up over um, the, the charge weight range that we were looking at. You know, we should be around that 3,500 feet per second. Or, or just a touch over, uh, depending on the, the load that we settle on. But so this was the target, and this this kind of messed it up. This is some some more thirty out six stuff with the hundred and eighty grain um, SST. That was that's going to be in a separate video because yeah, there's just some issues with that. But but this was our our first three shot group at seventy one point five grains that came in. Uh, just under 1.3 inches, so not really that great. Kind of started off similar to uh, the 162 grain, so I wasn't necessarily thrilled with that. I was hoping these would shoot a little bit tighter. And then uh, 71.8, very similar in terms of the group uh, pattern, but then it did uh, tighten up just a little bit. This came in just under an inch, 0.935, so you had one two, three, your three shots there. Uh, then after that, I did make a scope adjustment, so that's why these next groups are kind of positioned where they are. I made a scope adjustment left and down, and this is 72.1 grains. That group was the smallest of the day. That was 0.845 inches. And then the one right after it, 72.4. So again, very similar group pattern right i mean this one a little bit different but in terms of three out of the first four and that was 0.927 so again just under an inch and then the last group opened it up this is other stuff this wasn't seven wisdom but uh that came in at, at like a two inch group there on the last one not exactly sure what happened there that's kind of a little bit odd to go uh, to just jump three tenths of a grain in powder when things have been hovering around an inch and then all of a sudden you open up two inches. So that is the downside of three shot groups. You know, that could have been shooter influence, who knows, right? But that's sort of the downside. That's why you see a lot of people advocate for sample sizes much larger than three shots, right? A lot of people say five shot is, is at least the bare minimum. You know, you'll see a lot of people do 10, 20 shot groups. Uh, you know, Eric Cortina, you go and watch his stuff. I mean, obviously that's what they do i think they shoot i think it's maybe 20 for record something like that so i mean yeah they they need you know 20 shot groups that's that makes perfect sense because that's what you're practicing for that's what you're going to be competing with is a 20 shot group so uh, but in terms of this and what i'm trying to accomplish here just this is this is going to be a load that's going to be minute of deer so if i can hit you know uh, six, six inch target, six or eight inch target inside of that out to a couple hundred yards. That's more than good enough to kill deer in the state of Alabama. So that'll get the job done. And that's exactly what this load is going to do. I would really like to see how this performs, um, on a deer, but yeah, we, I went all the way up to 73 grains when I was checking the velocity, but uh, ended up just kind of staying under that. Worked up to 72.7, so I'm thinking maybe 
somewhere in, in this range. I mean, you had three groups, you know, all three of these were just under an inch. So who knows, maybe we just call it at 72.1, go back, load some up, because I, I don't have a ton of these left, actually. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all I've got left. So it's not like I have a bunch of these to, to experiment with. And I don't really feel like buying another box of them. Um, it's not that mission critical, but I was just gonna pick a load, load up however many I had left. So anywhere from 10 to 15 left, and then load all those up, go out, get some velocity data, you know, zero the scope and just call it good enough, right? Again, if it, if it shoots anywhere from just under an inch to an inch and a half, that'll be perfectly acceptable for uh, my needs. So uh, that's pretty much it. One other thing, you know, I'm, I, I typically hate on Hornady brass. I've just, I've had really bad luck with it uh, in the past. In this particular case, I've had, uh, I've, I've had nothing but uh, good things to say about it so far. Now it's only got one firing on it. Uh, all hundred pieces. This is 50 here. I got the other 50. I've already, I've actually already cleaned these deprimed them uh, with my Lee Universal uh, decapping die. And then I cleaned these along with some, I think it was like 70 pieces of 30 out six and a little over, it might've been 70 pieces of six, five Creedmoor. Cleaned all that in my Frankfurt Arsenal light tumbler. And it did really good. I mean, they came out really nice. So I've got 50 pieces. Basically I just need to get those guys resized and then go through my normal brass prep process which is right over here on my Lyman uh, case prep express just run it uh, this is for 6.5 cream more now but pull this out and then I'll uh, once I resize the brass I'll I'll use this to trim and then from there it'll be chamfer deburr run it over the brush and then clean out the primer pocket so it'll be ready to go but that's it that that's that's all we're going to do with Ramshot 102. On top of that, I I barely have any of this stuff left. Like, I don't even know if I've got enough to load up what's left in this box. Uh, so we'll see because, I mean, you're dumping, you know, 72 grains of powder. Uh, you know, pound of powder goes pretty quick. And I had used that uh, for other things in the past, so I was already down a little bit on that when I started. So that's where we're going to leave it. Probably just call it 72.1 grains and go from there so hope y'all enjoy it y'all uh stay tuned got some more content coming up 65 creed more 30 out six so some more fun stuff happening but that's it we'll catch y'all next time y'all have a good one